Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Fourier series representation of a sinusoid. So, for example, consider the signal x of t equal to a times cos of omega naught t plus phi. So, that is the given signal. Now, we want to find out the Fourier series expansion or Fourier series representation of this signal. So, by definition of this cos of omega naught t plus phi. That is, basically, that is by using basic trigonometry laws, we have a times cos of omega naught t cos of phi minus sine of omega naught t sine of phi. So that is the definition of the uh, cos of omega naught t plus phi. Now let us compare this definition. Now this uh, expansion can be rewritten as follows. That is x of t is equal to a times cos of phi multiplied by exponential of j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t divided by 2 minus a times sin phi multiplied by e power j omega naught t minus e power minus j omega naught t divided by 2j. So basically that this is the this is the definition of uh, cos of omega t and this is the definition of sine of omega t in terms of exponentials. Now let us compare this expansion or this definition with the definition of the Fourier series expansion that is given a signal x of t we can write it as summation over all values of k a k exponential of j k omega naught t so that is the Fourier series expansion. Now compare this expansion with this uh, x of t that is with this expression of x of t or this example of x of t uh, in this expansion we can clearly see that we can rewrite this expansion so, uh, so to enable a better comparison we have to rewrite this x of t as follows that is x of t is equal to we have to gather all the terms that have e power j omega naught t that is all the terms that have this term as common so we will get a of cos phi and then minus a by 2j sin phi a of cos phi minus so minus a by j into sin phi and everything is divided by a 2 and then multiply to e power j omega naught t and then we have uh, we have to gather the terms corresponding to e power minus j omega naught t that means we have plus a cos of phi and then minus of minus plus a sin phi by j that is plus a by j sin phi by 2 e power minus j omega naught t so that is e power minus j omega naught t now again we can simplify this expression further because minus 1 is nothing but j square so we have a cos phi plus j a sin phi and then by 2 so that is basically 1 by 2 uh, a or a by 2 multiplied by cos phi plus j sin phi that is nothing but e power j phi and then e power j omega naught t and similarly in this case the second term we can write it as plus a by 2 e power minus j phi because it will be cos phi minus j sin phi so that must be e power minus j phi multiplied by e power minus j omega naught t. So by comparing this expansion with this summation we can clearly see that the Fourier coefficients corresponding to uh, the cosine the sinusoid that is Fourier coefficients for a general sinusoid will be a1 is equal to a1 is equal to a by 2 e power j phi and a minus 1 that is we are dealing with e power minus j omega naught t so this must be a minus 1 so a minus 1 is obviously the conjugate of a1 that is a by 2 e power minus j phi and this is clearly valid because for a real signal the Fourier coefficients actually will be conjugates of their uh, negative counterparts that is if a1 is this value a minus 1 will be conjugate of a1 so that's what we see here and all the other coefficients are basically zeros Therefore, uh, the Fourier coefficients for a sinusoid of the structure a times cos of omega naught t plus phi is given by 
uh, the coefficients a1 equal to a by 2 e power j5 and coefficient a minus 1 is a1 conjugate which is a by 2 e power minus j5. Now let us look at two special cases that is case 1 when the phase term phi is equal to 0 in that case what happens is x of t simply becomes a times cos of omega naught t and the corresponding coefficients that is a1 will be a by 2 because e power j power e power j into 0 is 1 so it is a by 2 and similarly a minus 1 will also be a by 2 and in second case that is a that is a second special case phi is equal to say 90 degrees in that case what happens is x of t becomes when phi is equal to 90 degrees the first term is gone so we are left with the second term so minus a times sine of omega naught that is our signal the corresponding coefficients are a1 is equal to uh, a by 2j a by 2 into j and a minus 1 is equal to minus a by 2j that is the conjugate of a1 so to summarize in this video we have looked at the Fourier series representation of a sinusoid so given x of t equal to a times cos of omega naught t plus phi a is the amplitude omega naught is the frequency phi is the phase we can write it uh, expand it using the trigonometric um, uh, identities and then x of t uh, can be further written as by using the uh, relation between the cos functions and sine functions with the Euler's formulas so the Euler definition helps us here so x of t becomes uh, a cos phi into uh, e power j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t by 2 and then we have a similar structure for the second term and then we compare this uh, expansion with the definition of the Fourier series representation so for a better comparison what we do is we gather all the terms that correspond to uh, frequency omega naught and all the other terms corresponding to other frequency that is minus omega naught so we find that the corresponding coefficient for e power j omega naught upon simplification is a by 2 e power j phi and similarly other term is a by 2 e power minus j phi so therefore uh, the Fourier coefficients a1 will be equal to a by 2 e power j phi and a minus 1 is equal to a by 2 e power minus j phi that is they are conjugate of each other and in the special cases when phi is equal to say in the special cases in case 1 uh, when phi is equal to 0 x of t becomes a pure cosine function and a1 and a minus 1 are real values and equal to a by 2 and in the other case where phi the phase value is 90 degrees then x of t will be minus a sin omega naught t and the coefficients are a1 is equal to a by 2 j and a minus 1 is equal to minus a by 2 j so thus we can find the Fourier series coefficients of a sinusoidal signal thanks for watching